Uh, hello once again, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This reflects me taking you another tutorial on background manipulation. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm not going to be doing a very complex manipulation, we're only going to be doing a basic manipulation, just adding a fabric overlay. Unlike the ones we do before, which we had some studio background overlay, this time around, we are going to be adding an overlay, a fabric overlay to the picture. And make it blend in perfectly firstly we are going to work on our background which you know is the very very first step why the next step is for we removing our model from the background so i think you guys all know how i extend this background if you don't know how i do that i uh, can really click on the link in my description to watch video on how i do all my manipulation when it comes to background extension or well, let me just show you how i did this right there so it's very simple. Firstly, I don't like working on my background layer as you all know. So I'll just click on my Ctrl J. Then I'll go to my rectangle macro tool. So I'll drag over the area, this area first. Make sure while you're selecting, make sure it does not select, it does not touch your model. If not, it's good. You are going to drag your model along with the background. So I've selected this area now. I'll just click on Ctrl T. I'll hold down my shift key. I'll drag over this edge like this. Once I, once I see it freeze, I'll just leave my shift key and I'll click on OK. If I to control D to deselect now, as you can see, we've done that. We've done something nice over here. So that's how I achieved this. That's how I did the extension. So after the extension, the next thing for what to do is to remove our model from the background. As you can see, I have the model here. She's on her own. Background is on its own. So we're done with that. If you want to know I remove my picture perfectly, also click the link in the description. I don't want to bore you on this tutorial, I just want it to be a very fast tutorial. So I can get it over with. So we don't let us say we're done with that. So the next thing I want to do, I want to remove some blemishes over here. I don't like the way this color is looking. So how am I going to do that? I'll be using my gradient fill. So I'll just go to my, my color over here, then I'll pick, I'll sample from the background color, which color I want to fill the background with. So once I see the color I want to make it up, I'll still click on my OK. I'll just go to my curve adjustment layer over here. I'll go to my adjustment layer over here, then click on gradient. So automatically it's going to fill the color we want for us, but the way you're seeing it is coming from the down, which I want it to be coming from the top. So I'm just going to revert it. As you can see right now, it did the perfect job for us. So I'll just click on my OK. I'll reduce the opacity a little bit. So I'll still be getting the vibe of the shadow of the background a little bit. So we'll just reduce the opacity a little bit. I think we're okay with the opacity now. But as you can see, the light from the picture is reflecting too much uh, on the foot aspect over here. So we can actually reduce that. We just have to pick a new layer, a new empty layer over here. We'll pick our brush. Make sure the hardness is on zero. You can click here to check. Make sure the hardness is on zero. Increase the brush size. The opacity is at 15%, which is very nice. So as, can, as you all know, we are using this color, which we've already selected over here. So I'm just going to paint the color over here a little bit. I'll paint it just to darken this side a little bit. As you can see, it's, it's matching with the color we applied as a gradient. As you can see, I can start to leave it this way and I can go extra mice again. So let's check out before and after, these are before and these are after. So we've done something nice to the aspect. So the thing we need to do now is just to bring in our background. So I'll be importing my, the background I was making use of, which are fabrics, which is the fabric background. So I have about 10 of them, about 20 of them I mean to see. So I'll be dropping the one I'll be making use of in this picture for you guys, as you can see. So you can just, you can either decide to bring anyone in, firstly let me bring one. Then I'll use the one I want to make use of actually. So let's just bring this in. Let's drag into our Photoshop. As you can see, make sure it's lap. Click on our OK. But as you can see, the shadow is no longer showing. Uh, some people do make mention of why am I not changing the background entirely, then bringing in a new background, which I'm applying stops like this. So the reason why I don't do that is that. Me bringing a new background now and killing the full background 
I'm also killing the shadow along the way, which is the foot, mostly the foot shadow, and sometimes shadow at the back, which uh, your light, your light, your studio setup light gives you. So it will make the work look professional. So that's why I prefer leaving, leaving my background with just blending it a little bit, screen, removing the blemishes from it, then bringing it on my overlay. So as you can see right now, it's lap, but the shadow is no longer showing and as it, see, it seems a little bit artificial. So we are going to change the blend from normal to soft light, the way we usually do. I click OK, as you can see, blended it perfectly, but if it's not still showing very well, you can just reduce the opacity a little bit, as you can see right now. And don't even think about the colors, you can actually use any colors, any color for it. So it's easy for you to twist the color as you can see right now we have something like ash over here so you can decide to change the color to any color you see fit. So I'll just go to my curve adjustment layer over here, I'll go to my hue and saturation, make sure I click on colorize, as you can see automatically it brought a purple background for us. So we can just twist this hue over here, decide to choose any color of your choice. So you can decide to use any color you deem right to use. But this is not the background I'll be making use of, so I'm going to be deleting it. I'll delete the background. So let me bring in the one I'll be using right now. So let me look for something, something unique out of this background, and pick the one I'll be making use of. Okay, let me go with this. Let me go with this. I'll just drag it to my Photoshop. I'll drop it. Make sure it laps. Then I'll click on OK. Change the blend mode from normal back to soft light again. Wow, as you can see, we have something nice. Can try to just twist it a little bit. Then by just going to your filter, then blow it out a little bit. Blow Gaussian blow. Uh, the 40 is too much. Let me use about 10. Let us use 10. 10 as our radius. You can see we have something nice, something perfect over here. So you can just decide to leave it this way, or you can just twist the color a little bit also. So we can increase the saturation of the color or reduce the saturation. See, you see, fit. I think I will leave it at this ash color. We've done something nice so far, very easy and straightforward, and it's not time consuming, unlike the other manipulation we do. So the next thing is for which to just color grade it a little bit. I can just decide to use a lot on it to color grade everything at once. Let's go to my color lookup. Load, load 3D lots. The lot I love using the most is called natural light. Natural, natural color. As you can see, it's perfect, but it's too much. I can just reduce the opacity. Reduce the opacity. So now let's check our before and after. Let me group everything together. Let's check our before and after. So these are our before, these are after, before and after. So within 10, sec 10 minutes, we've already done a simple manipulation which look very, very nice. Uh, if you're interested in buying this texture, this fabric overlay, uh, they are available for sale. You can contact me and I'll get the file to you as soon as possible. Other of my files are for sale too. My other manipulation background, my lots, my presets, even my retouching pack. They are all available for sale. But this particular background I use and one other will be dropped for you guys to download for free. So make use of to practice with. So that's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also on the notification icon. If you have any questions, you can contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.